Well, hello everyone from here at Disney's Hollywood Studios, where we will be attending the first ever Jollywood Nights Christmas party here. This is really exciting. This is great. We actually did not attend Mickey's very merry Christmas party this year mm -hmm. because this is this is something great. It's crazy. It's something absolutely completely new, something yep. that's never been done before. It's just pretty much like a Christmas event here at Hollywood Studios. Mm -hmm. It'll go from 8.30 to 12.30. There's going to be a ton of different shows, different lounges, entertainment, like over 30 special snacks. We're going to try to do as much of it as we can. You guys can see we dressed our best. Yeah. We're a bow tie. Yeah. Matt's dressed all fancy. Yeah. But we're here early. We're going to wait. We're going to eventually check in, and we're just going to bring you guys along. And you can see Matt tried to outdo me again. I did. Yeah. I did outdo you. <laughs> Well, he's, he's like Sorcerer Mickey, so yeah. he has like the um, the red robe, yeah. the gold. Yeah. He the usually has hat. like a gold um, like belt, like yeah. a rope, but I did the gold tie instead, yeah. and I think it worked out. You can see we're hiding under the cover here by the ticket booths because it is raining, and also they have like these, um, these little barriers set up. I assume this is where they'll have everyone check in. We really haven't been given any information. Can you check in inside the park? Do you check in here? I don't know. We're kind of just making assumptions at this point. I don't know. It's raining. I always said it'd be fun, like, if we're, like, the first person to check in. Yeah, yeah. So, like, nobody knows what this event is. Nobody knows what to expect. So, yeah. we're here. You can see they're setting up some barriers over there. So, I'm guessing just this whole area here will be, like, all these turnstiles here will be entrances. Hello. Well, we are about an hour and a half away from when they're going to let us into the park for the event. And I'm kind of shocked by the low crowd levels here. If you've ever been to an event like this with Disney, not specifically Jollywood, because this is the first one, but if you've been to like the Christmas party at Magic Kingdom, two hours before the party, like this whole area would easily be filled in. And then maybe some more over there. So I don't know. Maybe this will just be a really low capacity event. I'm kind of hoping for that, but we'll keep you guys updated. They should be letting us in sooner than later. I'm excited. All right, well, it is now 5.50. I didn't think they were supposed to let us in until 7, but you can see there's a lot of hoopla happening over here. They have the wristbands, they have people with iPads. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Hopefully we get in. If we get in earlier, I think that'd be just kind of a head start to get yeah. settled. Yeah. But I think number one, I want my Dennis or Gertie to mm -hmm. That's my number one priority. We'll see. I'm excited. After a long way. Yes, finally. Thank you so much. Are you have a Yep. Yeah. Hello. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Happy holidays. We're all checked in, Google. Are you excited? Look at this. Yeah, they gave us a map. The map is it's like... It's nice. It's like listening. Yeah. It's when, got what do they call man on the back. Yeah, Ollie. Yeah. He rode the trolley. Nice guy. Nice guy. So they did scan our tickets and give us our wristband and these nifty credentials back there. Now they're going to let us in soon. Yeah. It shouldn't be too much longer. Oh, all right. Thank you. Here we go. Well, all right, we have made it in here to Hollywood Studios. It's very festive, very festively decorated. You can see some people are dressed up just like goo. This is great. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm very festive. I know right now it is currently like 7 o'clock, so the party doesn't officially start till 8.30. Mm -hmm. But you can see all the festiveness, all the different decorations, all the jolliness truly building. I'm excited. Now, I will say there is one other place you can check in for this event. If you have like a park ticket for the day or a hopper and you can come over here or an annual pass or anything like that, you can get into the park and then check in. I think it's over next to the um, Olaf meet and greet where they do like it's, the... They do like a Mickey Shorts. Yeah, like, yeah. So in there, I guess they're checking people in. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, but, it's just as busy too. Yeah. Like so I don't know. This whole event is just going to be kind of a toss up. We really have no idea how many people are going to be here, what's going to be happening. I don't know, it'll be very interesting to see. I did hear there was some exclusive merchandise, so yeah, I feel like yeah. as we're kind of starting off here, we need to look for the merchandise. Mm -hmm. but we have some time to explore, enjoy the decoration, and see what else we can do tonight. There's also a sign out here explaining that there will be a virtual queue for Star Wars Rise of the Resistance, which is kind of strange. They don't really use one for that at all anymore. We'll be able to join at 8 o'clock. I don't think we're going to join. We might just like kind of refresh it. We might just kind of refresh it a few times and see how long it takes to like um, get sold out. I don't think we're really going to spend any time riding yeah, it. So I'm spoiled. I can yeah. come here any day and ride yeah. it. So we're going to try and do all the exclusives. Yeah, yeah. And we did hear from a little birdie that they're going to have some special merchandise. I think it, around 8.30, yeah. so closer to when the party starts. But they will have it at three different stores. I think Mickey's of Hollywood, 5 and 10. And then here. Yeah. So, so lots of different varieties. There They'll probably go. have a good amount. There you if go. If it's at three places, yeah. Well, we came on down over here to check on how things were going. And it looks like they are doing one showing of Fantasmic tonight at 7.15. 
kind of interesting. I guess they'll just do the show. It'll be over at 8.45, and they'll tell everyone to get out because yeah. park hard closes at 8 p.m. Well, here's so. the thing. I'll say one thing. If you are coming to this event and you are not a pass holder, yeah. you could probably sneak in here and get Fantasmic yeah, yeah, as well, yeah. depending on the crowd size. Yeah. But there's so much to do. It's, it's great you get to get in a little bit earlier. I think that's great. But I think from here, we'll just wait for the event to start. We'll see what happens, and we'll just go from there. Generally, with these events, there are usually really long lines at the beginning, and then they'll kind of die down. So we'll probably just hang out. Maybe we'll get some food. Goo went to get his um, dinosaur girthy cookie because he's worried that that's going to sell out. So yeah, we're just gonna hang out, we'll get some food, we'll see what we see, we'll wait for lines to die down, and we'll try to do as much as we can in the four hours we have. And while I was over here waiting, I did realize that the lounge at the Hollywood Brown Derby does have like a walk-up like wait list on the app that you have to join, but it looks like it's already full when I try to join it. It's telling me no tables are available at the moment. That's kind of disappointing. I hope some more come available later. I don't know, I'm gonna keep trying. And that walk-up list went super fast too. I actually have a friend that was trying to get it and he like got right in and it told them he had it, but then I guess it glitched when he went to confirm it, so it's gone now. I don't really know, all this is kind of kind of a mess. Hopefully things get better as the night goes on, but so far, it's a little chaotic. And there we go, the event has officially started. The slope is here. The jolliness has arrived. While I was waiting, I did take a peek back at the Tower of Terror Lounge, and there wasn't, like, there were a lot of people there, but there was no line. Like, you're not, you don't have to wait for it. You just walk into the crowd and hang out in there. So we'll make it back there at some point. I'm gonna go find Goo. I think he's over by Echo Lake. So we'll find him, and then we'll, we'll get this party started. Lines are getting pretty crazy for characters as well. I think this is for um, Powerline Max and Phineas and Ferb. I don't think we're gonna wait in these. This is, this is a little much. Well, here we go. I found Goo and his cookie, his dinosaur. Goo this is cookie. incredible. I am a very historic Goo. Yeah. Because I was the first person ever to purchase a dinosaur Gertie cookie. Very nice. So I feel very honored. Mm -hmm. I actually got a picture with the chef. Oh, yeah. The chef came and got a picture with me. So this is great. It was only $6. It That's looks not like too dinosaur bad. Gertie. Yeah. I feel like we better find some spot with better lighting, but you can see dinosaur Gertie has her fancy hat on. Yeah. I feel like we're in for a good time here tonight. So what exactly is the cookie? Like, is it just a sugar cookie? It's just a sugar cookie, but it's handmade. Yeah. So like, they were making these. You could pay like a dollar more and you could get like mint soft serve with it. Oh. But I, I wanted the full presentation. Yeah, so yeah. There it is, handmade. Mm -hmm. And it was you great, be I got careful. to- The head is breaking yeah. off. Oh, oh. You don't want to drop so the rest of the cookie. There's dinosaur Gertie herself. Yeah. Should I take a bite? Yeah, let's go for it. Mm. Straight for the head. Poor Gertie. It definitely tastes fresh. I feel like it is like a mint flavor to it. Yeah, yeah, I think it's supposed to. Yeah, it looks great. It's one of those classic holiday sugar cookies, so I feel like they, they definitely did what they were planning to do, so I'm happy with it. Well, we made it over here to the tip top club, or whatever they call it. Yeah, I gotta say, the more we get into this event, the more I realize if you want to get stuff done, you have to get in line for something, like as soon as you get in the park. Like when they let you in at seven, just get in line yeah. for the Muppet Show for something. For a cookie. Yeah, for a cookie, because lines are just insane. Um, and we're not getting a whole lot done. I think at this point we've kind of just decided we're gonna choose what we want to do, get in line for it, and however long we wait, it just is what it is, because otherwise we're not gonna get anything done. So here we are at the, um, the Tip Top Lounge. You can see, so the bar is all the way like past, like pretty far away. I mean, you'll see how far it is when we get up there, but it's a long line. So we're gonna wait and see what happens. Well, after waiting 30 minutes for yeah. drinks, yeah. Um, it was a little bit of a wait. I don't yeah. think it was as long as I expected, yeah. um, but I didn't have very high expectations. I will say the one thing, so we got this drink, which is some sort of daiquiri, a Dasani and that, which is non-alcoholic, and it was $18 for all of this. I feel like under normal circumstances, this drink would be $18. Yeah. So that's that's one point for Disney yeah. so yeah. far. But I think this is like a daiquiri with coconut rum and ube and champagne on top or something. I'm gonna give it a try. It's purple. Mm -hmm. It's like the Twilight Zone one, right? It is good. It's, good. it's actually really good. Um, it's better than I expected. I'm not a huge fan of coconut rum. 
but the other things and it cut through the flavor of the coconut really nicely and you still get it but it's not as strong as it normally is I think that works really nice. I think this area here is great. Like the entertainment is great. Yeah. I just wish there was more room. If there's more room, yeah. yeah. There's not any tables. If you, if you get your drink, enjoy the entertainment. It could be great, but just so so busy, so hectic. Yeah. I don't know how that's gonna. Mine is basically just sparkling apple cider with pomegranate in it. Mm -hmm. So you have some pomegranates. Yeah. This is only like five dollars, so not terrible. I mean, it tastes like apple cider, but like the pomegranate kind of has an aftertaste, kind of complements it well. It's very simple, but it's pretty good. Very, very solid. And we weren't lying about how these crowds are crazy. Look at Fairfax Fair. I mean, they have a couple of good looking things, but look how long this line is. Yeah. I don't know what to think. I wanted that Kermit drink. Yeah, me but too. But not, not for this. Yeah. At this point, we are currently one hour into the event. How do you feel? Well, I am tired, I'm sore. <laughs> um, we've gotten a cookie and a drink. Yeah. So we need to up our game a little bit. Yeah. Well. We're just going to honestly show you guys how much we can get done. I don't know how much that's going to be, but we're going to try. Well, we stopped here at Once Upon a Time to see if they have any exclusive merchandise. Yeah. And they have one thing. Here we go, the Jollywood yeah. Knight shirt. This is, I don't even know how much it is. It's a pretty cool shirt, though. Yeah. Like, I think the design, $30. $30. Yeah. I don't know. It says year, inaugural year. Oh, oh so it's kind of like a souvenir. Right, I'm getting it's, it. It's pretty cool. You're getting it? Yeah, I'm getting it. <laughs> They, I asked about 3X. They said it went right away. Yeah. So 2X will work for me. Yeah. Not bad. I like it. This is the only merchandise we found here. But yeah. I think that's a pretty cool shirt. Standing over here, it doesn't look busy at all. There's not there's not a ton of people. I don't know. I would have never guessed it's as busy as it is just there's based on this. Oh, there's the DJ. Yeah. But I guess everyone's in line for something. I feel so. like, I don't know. Maybe this area is just the busy area. Maybe. maybe we'll, we'll find some we'll more We'll venture crowd. further into the park yeah. and see. I don't know. Over here on Commissary Lane by the Commissary Restaurant, there's like a Latin street fair. I don't remember what it's called. It's um, whatever it is. They have live music. They have special food in the commissary. Seems pretty interesting. All day fiesta in La Calle. That, so whatever it is. They're supposed to be like roaming musicians, all yeah. kinds of fun things over here. So. One more time, welcome everybody to Calle. I will say, looking at the menu more, there are a few things that I think I would enjoy trying. Goo is over there in line, so I'm gonna go catch up with him. We'll head inside. Maybe we'll try a couple things. Who knows exactly what we'll get? It'll be a little surprise, I guess. All right, well, we got our food, and I do have to say, I'm starting to notice a theme. I feel like most of the food here at Jollywood is kind of cheaper than like most of other Disney foods. Yeah. I'll say we came here, these empanadas, I know they're smaller, Yeah, but they, these were that, like... That is true, the yeah. portion size kind of compensates. They're still $5, $5 for that. Yeah. Um, drinks, That's terrible. Drinks, drinks are, are pretty cheap. reasonably priced, I feel like, This for is Disney technically standards. like a zero-proof drink, Yeah. but like zero-proof alcohol is still yeah. a little pricier. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, this looks good. We actually got this chicken empanada, which comes with like a corn, um, street corn as well on yeah. the side. It looks really good, huh? Yeah. Do you remember what kind of empanada it was? It was a chicken empanada. Okay. And that's basically, I think that's all that's yeah. in there. I'm excited to try that. And then that. you got the burrito taco. Yeah, yeah. We got some dipping sauce there for it. Both of these look decent, I See, think. The food looks great. Yeah. If you can handle the lines and get to the food, well, I think there's some good ones. I'll say, so, so far we've waited in two lines and they're not as bad as they look. Yeah. They, they haven't taken as long as I expected them to. We got through here and probably 15 minutes from when yeah. we got in line to when we got our food. So don't be scared away by the lines. They're really, they're not that terrible. With that being said, I think I'm gonna go into this. Yep. I'm gonna use a fork because I wanna get my hands sticky. Ooh. You wanna give us a little cross section? Spice to it. Oh, it looks decent. Yeah. Good it's amount kind of filling. fluffy, yeah. crispy. That is really nice. Very flavorful, a good amount of filling. A little bit of spice to it, but not overly spicy. And the pastry is perfectly, perfectly done. And then we also have this burrito taco, so I guess you dip it in the sauce, right? Yeah, you dip it in there. I'm gonna try to do it without getting it on my shirt. This looks very good, it looks very... Oh, it's good. It's cheesy, good flavor, the meat is nice. It's very hot, but it's really good. So Matt also got one of these old-fashioned drinks. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, so it's tequila, mezcal and then mexican chocolate and orange bitters oh um so the mezcal is very strong like it has a smokiness to it 
a little bit stronger than I would like. Overall, the flavors work um, pretty well together, but I think this is probably my least favorite thing I've had so far tonight. Yeah. Not bad, just not. A preference thing, maybe? Yeah, I yeah. think so, probably, yeah. yeah. But overall, this place, I mean, as far as efficiency goes, execution, I think it's pretty good. I think as far as, like, the full event. Uh -huh. Food has been pretty good, if, if you can get it. Yeah, yeah. While we were eating, we realized it was only about 20, 30 minutes until the next, like, Muppets show, whatever it's called. Holidays in Hollywood. Holidays in Hollywood. So we ran over and we actually got a pretty decent seat here. I mean, 20 minutes before, really not too bad. And there's still a lot of seats behind us. Yeah. So like it's empty. Yeah. I feel like the lines are long, but I feel like it's really not as bad as it feels. Yeah, so. yeah. I don't know, I'm excited. The show looks good as Kermit, as Miss Piggy, as Tiana, as yeah. Mickey. So I think we're just gonna sit here and enjoy and hopefully we'll bring the good enjoyment. Also, I think Tiana is singing a brand new song. Yeah. Especially for this, so that'll be exciting. There you go. Good evening, everyone, and happy holidays. We have got some true fabulous entertainment in store for you today. We have music, we have dancing, we have special guests from far and wide. And now, put your hands together for Disney Holidays in Hollywood. to be co-hosting this magical musical show for all of you tonight. Bonjour! Yes, tis moi! <laughs> the greatest gift of all this holiday season. It must be such an honor for all of you to have moi here tonight. Well, when I think about what Christmas means to me, I think about presents. Really? Just presents? There's so much more to the holiday season than gifts. There. Well, sure, but come on, we're literally standing in a pile of presents, clothes, shoes, and toys for all the little piggies and froggies out there who dream of being just like you and Wall. beignets mm. and it's such a party at Christmas time. Oh, I could just imagine.
said, of course. But you know, every year, I got just what I needed. <laughs> Up on the house of reindeer pies, out of good old Santa Claus. Down through the chimney with lots of toys, all for the little ones to destroy. And now, please give a warm Jollywood welcome to our most special guest, Mickey Mouse. There you go. That was the... I still don't know what it was called. Holidays or something. Um, holidays in Hollywood, I think. That thing, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Personally, for me, it's not my kind of show. Yeah. There I, were some good parts in yeah. there. I think if you like stage shows like yeah. that, you'll probably enjoy it. Um, I don't think it was worth the wait for me, but it seemed like everyone else enjoyed it. So yeah, yeah. you enjoyed it, here mm -hmm. you go. Um, but that was fun, though. They, they had music. All the entertainers did great. 
Um, I think it was a lot of fun. And I'll say, like, I was worried that we weren't going to get to see any of these shows. Yeah. But, like, we went 20 minutes before and we got a perfect spot. Yeah, so we walked right up, got a good spot. I so. would say for sure, don't come to the first show. But if you come to the other ones, it seems like you will have good luck. Yeah. Well, we took a break from all our jolliness. Yeah. To get a drink. I, I got this um, it. sugar cookie martini, I think yeah. it is. You have a picture of Yeah, the... I have a full description. It is vodka with Bailey's Irish cream liqueur. Just Serrano original liqueur. I, Close enough. I don't, I'm not alcohol expert. But it's mixed with milk, sugar, sprinkles, and has a little cookie on it. Yeah, it looks good. It's I think it was good. supposed to have a sugar rim too. Yeah. But the guy was running around like a chicken with his head gone off. So yeah. I wasn't going to ask him yeah. to add the sugar rim. I'm all right without it. Yeah. So you want to give it but, a try? It smells good. It smells like a sugar cookie. Yeah. I like cookies. Maybe I should have gotten one. It tastes like a sugar cookie with vodka. You get the vodka taste, but it's also sweet. This cookie, <laughs> the integrity has been compromised by well, you also, martini. Well, you also let us sit there for a minute. But. Oh, that's good. That's nice. What was this? 11 bucks, I think. Yeah. This is like all the outdoor bars, Yeah, I yeah think? it's supposed yeah. to be at all the outdoor ones. We found it here, and yeah, there was no way too. here, so yeah, there was a way that we're all dying down too, mm -hmm. which I think is great. Yeah. So far, as far as the food, I think the food definitely gets a thumbs up, mm -hmm. and I, I guess crowds are dying down, so we'll see how the rest of the party goes. Yeah. One thing I'm also noticing here tonight, it is starting to rain. I feel like the rain forecast has been like lingering over us for yeah. the past full event. But it is starting to rain, and some of the entertainment is going away. Mm -hmm. They so were like, covering up, like, the instruments yeah. for the live entertainment. So it's important to know if you are coming to this event and it does rain, there may be a couple of different things that may be yeah. inconvenience to you. So the show we went to earlier was Holidays in Hollywood. There is a second show, and it's over here where the Frozen sing-along used to be. Mm -hmm. And it's called What's This? The Nightmare Before Christmas sing along, and it appears as if we have missed the last final showing. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too concerned about that because I'm still numb from the last, <laughs> the, whatever the other show was, the holiday yeah. special show. So I think I'll pass on this one. It does look cool. I've seen yeah. pictures. They brought like the puppet that they brought from the. Um, yeah, the one that they use in the fireworks for um, Magic Halloween. Kingdom Halloween show. There's like a giant Jack Skellington puppet, so they have that. So it might be worth checking out if you come. It is starting to rain significantly more. Yeah. But I feel like we have to get at least one more snack. Yeah, I think it's going to be get. almost time to head out. Yeah. But as one last hoorah, we've come over to Frozone's Market yeah. for a buffalo chicken spring roll. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, so they actually have a Frozone snowball macaroon. Mm -hmm. They have a buffalo chicken spring roll. They have a couple drinks. I don't know. I feel like there's some good things here. And here they are. These are the buffalo chicken spring rolls looks like there's some sort of sauce there it's some kind of ranch Ran oh yeah i'm not trying i'll yeah, try the spring roll okay but no ranch for me oh they're tiny so yeah. this was six bucks whether there yeah. three of them there's three of them yeah All they're right. small but let's see. give it a try it's good good it's spicy the chicken is nice the like spring roll wrapper is crispy they were just sitting out there on the thing so i thought they might um, get soggy. They were just sitting on the counter like this. It's not it soggy, fresh. it's crispy, yeah. yeah. It tastes fresh. Well, it's been a night. I think that's the way to describe it. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel? I think the night redeemed itself for me. Okay. I don't think, like the lines looked worse than they were. We didn't really wait that long. We got a decent amount of things done and we would have gotten even more done if we hadn't just stood around like trying to decide what to do and which lines were the least terrifying. What was surprised to me? You literally have so many different food options, so mm -hmm. many different shows, so many different things mm -hmm. in this park. Mm -hmm. How in the world are lines at least 20 minutes? Yeah, yeah. That's my question. I even don't know. Edna was even like, Edna had a wait like, time. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if they need to reduce the capacity or what. Um, it was still enjoyable, but I feel like waiting for food shouldn't be that long at these kind of events. Here's maybe I'm, my, maybe here's I'm my wrong. Goo tip. You're good for the um, Jollywood event. Yeah. Do not be afraid of the lines because the lines can smell your fear. And the oh. more afraid you are, the longer they'll take. So, there you go. Don't be afraid. Suppress your fear. So, if you're afraid of the... How does it make it longer? The lines can smell the fear. And then they The lines don't take smell. Longer. That makes no sense. Just listen to me. Don't be afraid okay. of the lines. Whatever. Well, at this point, it is raining. It's starting to actually start to pour, and I mm -hmm. think I hear some thunder. 
Um, so I don't know if we're gonna make it for fireworks. We're gonna attempt to. Yeah. It's been a really long night though, so we'll see what we do. It's also worth noting fireworks are at 12:30, so it's very late. And it's not really a fireworks show. It's more like a projection show, from yeah. what I understand. And it's so, something new. They've yeah. had it before. So even in the rain, look at all these people waiting here for the for the fireworks show. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. I don't know. I would love to stay, but I feel like it's it's been so chaotic. I'm very tired at this point. But yeah, they just project onto the theater. Yeah, fireworks to go with it. I don't know. It looks very fun. Well, as we were exiting, they did give us a gift. Yeah. And two your Jollywood night coasters. I mean, nice. they're, they're pretty nice. They're kind of like wooden. You can see like the wood on yeah. that back and side. I like having something with like the year on it, and just to say that we were here. Yeah. Um, I don't really get why a coaster, but. I mean, they I'll were, take it. drinks were kind of like a main thing. I guess so, yeah. So, yeah. There you go. Nice coaster. Nice coaster. Well, there you go. That was our experience at the first ever Jollywood Nights at Hollywood Studios. It, it was an experience for yeah. sure. I don't know if this is an event I would recommend or personally come back to. Um, the crowds were intense. Maybe my expectations are wrong. I don't really know what to think of this event. I think everyone was a little bit more afraid of the lines than, than they needed to be. They really weren't that bad once like they looked worse than they were we didn't really wait super long for anything so i didn't think it was terrible i feel like simply everything they have here was very good mm. the capacity i think just was an issue for me so yeah um i don't think i personally liked the event as much as matt did also one of the things is we really didn't know what this event was going into it so mm. i feel like that probably set false expectations of what actually is happening yeah i mean we had fun i think it was a little bit chaotic but um, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see if they do this again next year. They, they did say inaugural year, so maybe mm -hmm. they're going to be doing it next year, too. If they do any changes, see what happens. But um, it was an experience for sure. But that being said, we are tired. It's been a very fun day, but we're, we're honestly exhausted from all the excitement. Yeah. But if you guys could please hit that like button, every like kind of shares our video, gets more people watching. Also, make sure you subscribe. We have lots of videos, all kinds of fun things. We'd love to bring you guys along. But as usual, I'm Goo. I'm Matt. Those were the coasters. Yep. And there's Ollie. Ollie. Ollie the gingerbread man, whatever he is. And here are you. And we both wish a good to each and one of you. Hopefully, all have a great day. Thank you guys so much. And we'll see you guys later.